friends of ex nanny say she is on brink of suicide and facing marriage crisis as she goes Christmas shopping without husband. Mel B's ex nanny has been driven to the brink of suicide after being dragged into the star's bitter divorce battle. Mail Online can reveal. Lorraine Jill, 26, was left traumatized after she was falsely accused of being a home wrecker and prostitute by the former Spice Girl. Friends of the former old pair told Mail Online she has had therapy to cope with the, the online abuse she received amid claims of three sons with the singer. As she was pictured Christmas shopping with her sister Jackie at home in Aixkiburg, Germany, Lorraine's friends said being at the center of the messy Hollywood divorce had left her devastated. A close friend told Mail Online, Lorraine is the victim of a bullying by a very powerful celebrity. She has had her life ruined and been used in Melby's divorce. Deeply personal matters have been made public about Lorraine that should have remained private. I know she contemplated suicide when she was so depressed about everything she has been through this year and it has been the lowest point in her life. Among the claims made by Mel B, real name Melanie Brown, was that Lorraine fell pregnant after an affair with the star's husband, Stephen Belafont. In court papers, the America's Got Talent judge claimed she paid for an abortion and portrayed the young German as a home wrecker. Lorraine began working for the couple in 2009 when she was a starstruck 18-year-old foreign exchange student in the U.S. from Germany with hopes of making it in Hollywood as an actress and model. After meeting the British singer, the then-teenager said she was invited back to the L.A. mansion Mel B. shared with her husband where they had sex. She said they would have sex several times a week and the mother of three would invite her husband to join them for threesomes, which were often filmed. This continued for six months while Lorraine studied at a language school before she was asked by the star to look after her three daughters, Madison, 6, with Bella Font, Angel, 10, from her relationship with Eddie Murphy and Phoenix, 18, her daughter with dancer Jimmy Goldar while she was with the Spice Girls. Having secured a U.S. visa to work with the help of Melby's lawyer, Lorraine then worked for the couple for seven years. During that time, Rumors circulated around Hollywood that all was not well in the celebrity marriage. But it was not until Mel's father lost his five-year battle with cancer in March that the 42-year-old filed for divorce and the bizarre domestic setup of three sons with a nanny came to light. Melby claimed that she paid for Lorraine to have an abortion after she fell pregnant during an affair with Bella Font. Lorraine denied the affair and said she fell pregnant by another man. Those closest to Lorraine who has filed a defamation claim against her former employer in the U.S., say the disclosure of the abortion is what hurt her the most. She has also been deeply upset by details of lesbian sexual relationships with the singer, something she had not previously told her family. It has been a very painful and difficult time for Lorraine. She has faced some very tough conversations with those closest to her as a result of the things that have been said about her. What caused the most damage to Lorraine was the world being told about her abortion. It was intensely private to her and her family had to read about it. She has been seeing psychologists for several months now in LA to try and help her cope. It is helping and she is slowly getting better but this was a very difficult event in her life and it nearly broke her. Lorraine's marriage to events manager Michael Blow, 32, is said to be crumbling amid bros triggered by the claims Bella Font got her pregnant. They have had relationship counseling and she has left him back in the U.S. while she spent time with her family in Germany to recover from her ordeal. It's been tough for her. But her time with Stephen caused Rose with Michael, who would rather she stayed as far from Stephen as possible, said a source. She feels guilty for dragging her husband into this and as a result they are arguing much more. They have started counseling to help them get through this. Her father Folker refused to make any comment when approached by mail online at the family's farm, saying, I am sorry I have nothing to say. His daughter was unavailable for comment.